don't just aim in tennis. Instead, envision. So here's what I'm talking about here. I'm here serving, and here's Scott, the returner. And when I serve here, just notice where I place this. Um, it's placed right here in the corner here. Um, probably the best out wide ad side serve I've hit in my life, and it got straight to the corner. But was I aiming exactly for that corner? And the answer is no. I wasn't exactly aiming there, although I was very fortunate to get there. I was not aiming there. What I was really trying to do is really target this entire side here so that Scott can hit this return out wide here. I wanted him to be pulled off and hit that backhand of his. And if that got uh, back to me, right, I would have this forehand to the open space. So I was aiming, yes, I was aiming for this this side of the service box with my serve. But what I was really doing was envisioning, envisioning uh, Scott hitting that backhand, maybe forcing the air, but really um, getting that ball back so that I could hit that forehand to the open space. And so it's sometimes it's odd to me when students ask me how to place the ball. How do I, you know, get it to this corner here? Or how do I get it to the tee? Or how do I hit it cross court? Um, sometimes I would see students really line up their bodies, line up their shoulders and their feet to just to hit it down the line or cross court directionally. And so that's not really the way to do it. And it's not something that I even think about doing because in tennis, the most obvious thing is to get it inside the entire box, right? So this is in and that is the most obvious thing to do in tennis is to get it in the court. And so, you know, what I really want to do when I'm playing a tennis match is to get my uh, opponent to hit errors or hit something towards me where I could hit a winner or hit something very good so that I could keep forcing the error. So here's another example of envisioning. So um, when I serve here uh, to Daniel, uh, Daniel hits this very good return um, deep and I was forced in this a somewhat defensive position. I really wanted to go here, right? This is the open space, but uh, my feet weren't set and this was a very hard ball. And so I wanted to just kind of get him, get Daniel to hit a half volley. And a half volley is a tough shot for anybody. Tough for recreational players, tough for pro players as well. And so that's what I was envisioning, uh, making Daniel hit a half volley. Um, was I aiming particularly anywhere? Uh, not exactly, right? So it's, it's tough to really aim at a spot on the court because Daniel here is really a moving target, right? I wanted to hit to his feet. If I was aiming anywhere, I was aiming for his feet, but it's a moving target. So um, I know he's running forward. So what I was trying to do is just kind of plop it in th into the box here so that he hits this half volley. And that's what happens. And so when he hits this half volley, uh, it sits up and I have this uh, forehand passing shot. And again, I'm envisioning just going through this window here. I'm not aiming for spots um, here, 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 right? I'm not aiming for spots on the ground. What I'm really envisioning is this window here. Pretend there's this imaginary window and I'm just going through it. I'm going through it and obviously I want it inside the court. And that's what I'm envisioning. And so I hit this passing shot in for the winner. And, you know, a lot of this, you know, trying to envision something, it is really based on imagination and visualization. It could, if you could visualize what you can do, um, aiming is really almost irrelevant, right? So aiming is really something where it's good for maybe sports like darts or like archery. You're aiming for a spot and that is the end result, right? When you aim for that spot, that's the end result in that particular sport. But in tennis, if you're aiming for a spot uh, on the court here, say there, uh, that is not exactly the end result, right? You want the end result to be a forced error or unforced error for your opponent or a winner for yourself. Um, that is the end result. That's how you win points in tennis, not exactly targeting or or aiming for specific spots on the court although that is part of it that's part of uh, envisioning 
but it's not uh, aiming is not the end result in tennis. So here's another example, maybe the best example of what I'm trying to say. So um, here's me serving and uh, my opponent here, Priam, hits this very uh, powerful up the line forehand straight to my backhand and very deep. And I see uh, Priam here going in. And that's really what you're supposed to do when you see your opponent really in this defensive position here and you see their back. Um, it's time to go up to the net. And so really my only play was to get Priam to hit this backhand overhead. So I'm lobbing. And if there was anything that I'm aiming for, I'm aiming for somewhere around here in this space up top so that Priam here can hit this backhand overhead. And I'm trying to get him to do this because backhand overheads are generally tough. And it's generally something that, you know, not many people practice. I know a lot of recreational players don't practice the backhand overhead, and it's a very tough shot to do. And so this was really my last resort play, and I got a forced error from that. And so that really was a very fortunate thing for me. And But am I really aiming anywhere? I am definitely wasn't aiming for anywhere in the court, right? Because that's irrelevant that's irrelevant to this situation what uh, what i was trying to do is if i was aiming for anything is just going for that space up there so that priam can hit that backhand overhead and i was looking for some i was looking for a forced error basically from that backhand overhead and it worked so again don't just aim in tennis envision uh, what you really want to do in tennis is envision your opponent missing shots making them miss uh, something making them hit something so they miss or making them hit something so that you can hit maybe a forehand or backhand and that's what tennis is all about tennis is not really like archery or darts or any sport where you're trying to target something right it's not really target practice tennis is forcing errors from your opponents or being in a situation where it's very advantageous for you to uh, win points. So don't just aim for spots on the court. Really envision what you're trying to do, and you're going to be a better tennis player. If you enjoyed this video, kindly do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.